This is lesson 7.4, Parallel Lines and Proportional Parts. Your objectives are to use proportional parts within triangles and to use proportional parts with parallel lines. In any triangle, a line parallel to one side of a triangle separates the other two sides proportionally. This is the triangle proportionality theorem, and the converse is also true. So when that happens, you can make a proportion with the other two side lengths. If that segment in the middle intersects the midpoints of the two sides, then that segment is a mid-segment. The triangle mid-segment theorem says that a mid-segment is parallel to the third side and it's half of its length. So you can make a formula that says the mid-segment equals half of the third side. Number two. On this one, the parallel segment in the middle of the triangle cuts the other two sides proportionally. Set up your proportion with the values sitting the same way that they sit in the picture. 20 goes over x and that equals 18 over 9. Solve the proportion. Cross, multiply, and solve. And x is 10. Remember, when the segment in the middle is parallel to one of the sides, then the other two sides are cut into proportional parts. Number 4. Here we have a segment in the middle that's parallel to the third side. So it cuts those two sides into proportional parts. This time the triangle is tipped over on the edge, but the proportion can still be set up based on the way that the numbers are sitting in the picture. On the left we have 24 over 30, just like it sits in the picture. On the right we have x over 10, just how it sits in the picture. So you can solve that by cross-multiplying, and x is 8. It doesn't matter how the triangle is standing. It can be rotated around any way it needs to be, and you can still set up the proportion based on the way the numbers are sitting in the picture. Number 5. Here we have a segment in the middle of the triangle it's parallel to the third side, so it cuts the other two sides into proportional parts. We know the two side lengths on the left. We don't know both of them on the right, though. We're missing the bottom segment. Well, if the top part is 11 and the whole thing is 33, 33 minus 11 is 22 to get the bottom part. And now you can set up your proportion. Use the numbers just the way they're sitting in the picture. On the left, x over x plus 12 equals, on the right, make sure you do 11 over 22. 33 is the whole thing. We don't need that. Just do 11 over 22. And now cross multiply. Make sure that you put the x plus 12 in parentheses and that you remember to distribute. 11 times x is 11x, and 11 times 12 is 132. Go ahead and finish solving. And once you finish it up, x is 12. Just watch out for those whenever they give you one segment and the whole thing, and you need to do segment addition to find the missing part. When three or more parallel lines cut two transversals, they separate the transversals into proportional parts. If the ratio of these parts is one, then the parallel lines separate the transversals into congruent parts. Number two, here you have three parallel lines that intersect two transversals 
so it cuts those transversals into proportional parts. If you look at the three parts on the left, they're all congruent. And if they're all congruent on the left, then they're all congruent on the right. To solve for x, pick two of them, make them equal each other. Pick the two easiest ones. I think x plus 3 and 12 are the two easiest ones. So x plus 3 equals 12. And x is 9. So when parallel lines intersect transversals, it cuts those transversals into proportional parts. When those parts are congruent on one side, they're congruent on the other side too. Number four. We have three parallel lines that intersect two transversals. Those are cut into proportional parts. Set up the proportion just the way the values are sitting in the picture. The left fraction will be 5 over 8. And the right fraction is y over y plus 2. Then cross multiply and solve. Remember to put y plus 2 in parentheses and distribute properly 5 times y and 5 times 2. Then go ahead and finish solving. So y is 10 thirds. When parallel lines intersect transversals, it cuts the transversals into proportional parts. Number 6. Here you have three parallel lines that intersect transversals. Those transversals are cut into proportional parts. Even though that the parallel lines are going up and down instead of sideways, we can still set up the proportion using the values just the same way they sit in the picture. The left fraction will be 16 over y, and the right fraction will be 32 over y plus 3. There's lots of ways to set up these proportions. No matter which way the picture is sitting, you can set the proportion up using the exact same way the values are sitting. Go ahead and cross multiply. And remember to put the y plus 3 in parentheses so you can distribute. So y equals 3. Just make sure that your proportion is organized. It's set up the exact same way that the values are sitting in the picture.